Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw how to draw, uh, take your sections and make them into, ele into elevations. So it, by the end of the session we'll have something that looks like this. Uh, I don't like drawing anything more than once, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy my two sections. I'm in a loud area here, but oh well. Welcome to my life. This is my office. Sounds like it's terrible. Uh, I'm going to copy these two sections over and put them over here. Now I don't know what, what I want to do. Go into this section and er erase everything except for the lines on the outside of the building. So keep the underside of slab, keep the footing, and keep all of the exterior soffit, top of sheathing, all of those lines. Uh, I'm just going to stop the video for a second and show you what I want. I'm going to trim up everything and then I'll show it to you. So make sure you erase everything on the inside. So the first one you erase should look something like this. Left all my exterior lines, and the next one we're going to erase is going to look something like we're going to erase from this, and I'll show you what that'll look like in a second. Done so if we erased all of the inner stuff and just kept the outside shell, which is pretty much what an elevation is. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our section and copy something back. We're just going to copy the top of the plywood sheathing, the top of the main floor, subfloor it's called, and uh, the top of the foundation. Copy those two lines over here, and make sure you copy them straight across, and keep copying over to your other section too. I'm going to turn that snap off so it doesn't snap to stuff. And that's going to be my subfloor there, and this is my top of floor and top of foundation, those are those lines. Uh, just for fun, I'm going to offset these two lines 24 inches and trim these lines up so that those, those floors don't extend too far into the building. Keep them nice and tight at just 24 inches. Now I'll mirror them so I have them on both sides. Just mirror and turn my snap back on. There. So that's the top of my plywood and that's the top of my foundation. Uh, now what I want to do is, when you do an elevation, um, uh, the difference between elevation and sections. Section shows everything below ground. Well, in elevation, we just see from the dirt up. So we, there will be foundation below ground, which will leave as a hidden line, but I want to show you what the grade is. So I'm going to offset from top of main floor subfloor, so top of the plywood, 2 foot 6. So 30 inches. I'm going to offset that downward. I'm going to pull this line out, say, 30 inches this way. And then extend it over to there. And then ex just pull that out again, 30 inches. Now everything below here will be below the ground, everything above will be above ground, so I'm just going to trim the foundation. I wouldn't actually see that foundation. I will see the foundation above, um, but it is on a hidden line, because it's hidden. So now I'll just draw a hidden line, do a little match properties. There's your, there's your foundation below grade, there's the dirt. So now I take those exterior walls and extend them down to the, my grade, and also take them and extend them to the underside of the fascia. Almost done. The only other thing we need is we need this fascia line. I took the top of the roof from that point right there. I took the bottom of the fascia from that point right there. Now I need, I need the top of the fascia. Actually, I'm taking it from the top of the half inch plywood sheathing. So you can't just offset it, uh, go offset to, to get that because the, the line itself is on an angle. So I'll just draw that line across. And if I keep kept extending it, watch, it'll just be in line with that one there, right? Because that's the exact same drawing we just took from. So you can see it lines up. And there we go. So this is my this is my exterior elevation. The only thing I'm missing from this is walls, or uh, sorry, is windows and doors. So what to get your windows and doors? I'm not going to redraw them. I'm going to go down my plan and get them. This is my plan. It's not completely done. It's not done hardly at all. So what I want you to do is I want you to copy this wall right here. I want you to copy all of that. For me, I have a, I had another plan from back in the day that was that was pretty complete. Um, so I just copied it from a different drawing. So I want you to copy something that looks like this. <laughs> Can you hear those ladies in the background? That's hilarious. Uh, that should have all your windows and doors. Just copy it like this, and we'll move it into place up there. So I've already copied mine down. Mine's right here. Let's move that into place. And now I want to I line that up with outside of exterior wall. And uh, line the exterior wall up with, not near, it's not near end point, with that line right there. Now you can move it a little bit. So there, here's my windows and my door. So now what I can do is I can just take all these lines and I get off the hidden layer and go on, say, the layer other. I can just take all of these lines straight up. So I draw one and then I'll copy this line a bunch of times. So if I copy it like this, put it on the exterior points of all my windows and doors. Now this is going to be all my windows and all my doors. This is how they look in elevation. I told you on that sheet that the top of the windows and doors is going to be six foot eight from the top of the main floor subfloor, so if I offset 
this line right here, six foot eight. If I do that, I can extend it across. You know, I'll just use the extend command, extend it to there. That's gonna be the top of the glass of my windows. So it should look something like that. It'll be the same for all of them. I'll just leave it like this for now. And this window, I forget what it is. I think it's five foot six. Five foot six, this window is five foot six, yeah. So I'm gonna zoom in there. Offset this thing five foot six. Offset that down and trim those lines up. There, this is the this is the part of my window. Now the trim around the window is all two inches, so if I just offset two, it's gonna be two inches like that. Two inches, everything goes outward. This this window also has mullion, so if I just take that mullion, the distance that mullion is from outside the window is two feet. Two feet says there. So I can just offset this line two feet, which is 24 inches. Offset like that. These mullions are also two inches wide, so if I offset that one, and offset that one, offset each of those one inches, and then erase. And then just do some filleting. Fill up those edges. And trim this. Got a slick looking window. Looks good. The only thing I need to show is an opener. That opener is looking like this. And that means, I'm going to put that on the hidden layer. And that means that that is the way, that's the way that this door is going to be opening. Or this window is going to be opening. Whenever I show the arrow going this way, that's where the hinge is. So this is going to be a, this style of window opening on a hinge on that side. Uh, at the end of the day, your window should look like this. Your windows in all your dimensions for my class should look like this. So if you want to freeze frame on that, go for it. Try and get a bit closer. There, that's pretty good. Uh, hopefully this all works out. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in class. Thanks. Bye.